Today, we are looking at how to correctly erase your Mac's hard drive and reinstall the new operating system. So whether you're selling your Mac, troubleshooting an issue, or you just wanna do a fresh install, there are a few steps that you need to go through in order to get the job done properly. So let's dive in and start at the very first important step. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is head on down to System Preferences, open that up and check to see if you are signed into an Apple ID. If you are, click the sign out button and make sure that you fully sign out before we restart the machine. If you have any files, photographs, images, videos, etc, etc, that you want to save, either back them up to the cloud before you log out of your Apple ID or save them to an external hard drive or SD card. So now we're ready to erase the hard drive, head up to your Apple logo and click shut down and wait for the Mac to shut down. So while the Mac's still off, you need to hold down the Command and R button on your keyboard and press the power on and keep them, keep those buttons held while the machine powers up. So after about 20 seconds or so, 20 or 30 seconds, you'll see a little status bar come up here. Uh, once that's on the screen, you can then release the Command R keys and wait for the Mac to boot into disk utilities. Now it's worth pointing out that actually this will work on all types of Mac, whether you're running a Mac mini, an iMac like we are here, and any kind of MacBook. So a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, and a standard MacBook as well. So then we are presented with disk utilities. So as you can see, you've got a couple of different options here. You can restore from Time Machine if you've used Time Machine to back up your device. You've got a reinstall Mac OS, you can access the Safari browser here, but what we want to do is we want to click straight into Disk Utilities. So we highlight Disk Utilities and click Continue. So once you're into Disk Utilities, you've got a whole bunch of information about your hard drive here. There are a couple of different options that you can use at the top navigation bar. So if you've got a problem with your hard drive, you've got a first aid facility, you can partition your hard drive if you want to. Today's video is all about the erase function. So because we wanna erase all of our data to have a fresh hard drive, we click erase. The next pop-up will give you the opportunity to rename your hard drive, which we will do for the purpose of this video. We'll call it Mac um, hard drive. There are some format options here. I generally stick to the selected APFS and we click erase. Now. Mac will do its thing, it will completely erase everything on the hard drive. And as you can see, this two terabyte hard drive really didn't take that long to do. And we click done. So then we can come out of disk utilities. Now that is a formatted hard drive. There is no data on it. There's no operating system on it at all. Everything's completely gone. So the next step is we have to install the operating system. You can do an install two different ways. You can either install from a USB. We're just going to reinstall the um, operating system that was shipped with the device when it was new, which is Mac OS Monterey. We're gonna make sure that we are connected to our Wi-Fi because it's gonna pull it from Apple servers, which we are, and then we're gonna click continue. And then the pop-ups will guide us through the installation. It'll ask us to agree the licensing term, which you have to agree to, and for some reason, you have to agree to it twice. Choose your location for the operating system. Now, if you've got multiple hard drives on your machine, they will pop up here. We've only got one. It is a Fusion drive, which is a mix between an SSD and a SATA drive. So we're going to install straight onto the two terabyte hard drive. And that's it. Operating system will now be loaded. So now the operating system has been installed. So we just need to go through the setup process, which is pretty simple and it's all guided. So the first one is to Select our country, so our region. Uh, we obviously we're in the United Kingdom, so select United Kingdom. Um, some basic written and spoken language preferences. We need to go through There's the accessibility features that you need to uh, select, which you can do. You can opt to connect directly to Wi-Fi straight away now. I find it takes a little bit too long to, to connect to Wi-Fi, so I do it when the operating system's set up. So I bypass that. Next is to agree to the data and privacy section, standard, straightforward. If you want to migrate some data from another Mac or a Windows PC, you can do it here. 
we're looking at a fresh install for this video, so we are not gonna select anything. The first radio button is Mac, second radio button is Windows PC. We're not doing any of that today, so we just click down in the left-hand corner, not now. Terms and conditions, click agree, click agree again. Now this is where you'd set up your account. I'm just gonna do a standard administrator account. So I will type in admin and select a basic password so we know how to log in. You can change your emoji if you want. Let's select a nice robot. And then we click continue and that will then create our account on the Mac. After we've created our account, we can then enable location services and click OK. You can opt to share your analytics with Apple or and your crash data if you want to. I generally do. You can set up screen time if you want to. Again, all these options are tailorable. You can tailor them in settings and preferences. So we're just going to click continue. We want to enable Siri. Next page is to improve Siri dictation so you can share your audio recordings which help. Apple kind of developed Siri. We're going to share them and we're going to hit continue. You've got an option here to set up how your appearance looks. You can have a permanent light, permanent dark. I tend to set it to auto. Uh, quite like the features changing from light to dark based on um, the time of the day. So we'll click continue once that's done. And there we go. Mac is now set up. And if we just go to the Apple logo and about this Mac, we can see that we've loaded Mac OS Monterey 12.7.4. Specifications of the Mac is here. And that's it. Job is done. Okay, so there we go. That was my little video on how to correctly erase your Mac's hard drive through disk utilities and install a brand new operating system. And as you can see, we've got a nice fresh Mac ready to go. So if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button as it always helps support the channel. And I'll see you on the next video.